everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Last episode, after the Data Sora completed the Latin level, he got ambushed by Maleficent and she easily destroyed the Data Keyblade, which left the Data Sora to be defenseless. And Maleficent and Pete captured the Data Riku and they corrupted him. And even though that Data Sword was defenseless without his weapon, he managed to travel through the hollow of Boston Castle with the help of Goof Goofy and Donald. And after saying my friends on my power speech, the Data Sword managed to get his own Keyblade. And after Sora managed to save the Data Riku from being infected by too much uh, glitch bug, they were ready to go reset the journal back to where it was before. But then, Marvison and Peter are still trapped inside the data escape. So the data source is gonna go risk his life to go save Marvison and Pete. What's gonna happen next? Let's go play. Excuse me there, Maleficent. But do you really think we're getting anywhere with this Colossus? <laughs> no matter. Any less of an Whoa. would be an insult. Okay, that must be the final boss of this game. It's him! I fought this thing on the island. But I thought it got swept away into the darkness, along with everything else. Listen to me! You two need to get out of here! Do you actually think I'll take orders from one such as you? Oh, do you want to be deleted? I think the Pipsqueak here may have a point. Silence, coward. You will do as I... What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pete! Maleficent! Boom! I guess it got deleted. Okay, so let's take that thing down. Unbelievable! This guy's a lot stronger than what I fought before. No way is this the same guy. Wage, hatred. Now, the glitches to feed my darkness. It feeds on the glitches? Wait, that's it. Sora, you're not the only one who changed, who evolved within the datascape. Riku, you want to fill me in? Yes, but listen to me carefully. I know where the bugs came from. All of them. It's your shadow. It's your heartless, Sora. My heartless? You once turned into a heartless. Though you may not remember. It was recorded into the journal along with everything else. Then it vanished. Your memories disappeared too, but you managed to get those back. For some reason though, the pages of the journal, they stayed blank. And you think my Heartless is responsible for that? Probably. It makes sense. Everything in Gemini's journal revolved around one person. And that person is you, Sora. Without you, there never would have been any entries. This whole time you've been evolving in the datascape, finding new strength. Your Heartless has been absorbing data and doing the same. It's grown, Sora. Just like you have. But Riku, we put all the data back. That must have at least weakened it, right? I can still stop it, can't I? No. I should have realized all of this sooner. Normally, defeating a Heartless causes its heart to be released. Then the heart's returned to the person who lost it. But when you defeat Heartless here in the Datascape, that wouldn't set any real hearts free. Remember, Sora, hearts can't be turned to data. Instead, I think what you released are probably the Heartless's minds. I did all that? But then, where did the minds end up? Where could they have gone? They're right in front of you. Your Heartless has been gathering, then devouring the dark intentions of all the fallen Heartless. That's where it gets its power. From dark data, and now, just like you, it's become something greater, something much more powerful. 
if something this powerful got into Mickey's world? Oh no! Uh oh, the Nebby's gonna be doomed! To them. I'll use the strength they've given me! Is it over? Rage, hatred, glitches, and and soon hearts to state a hunger. Wait, how is this possible? Uh oh, you want to fight again? No, it's evolving. And the Day of Swords defenses again. Don't give up, Paul. Mickey, how? Anything to help a friend. Don't you remember what I said? We always help friends, even when the darkness closes in on you. All you have to do is look inside. And that's where you'll find your life. Come on, Sora. It's time to do this. Yeah, come on. Get back up again. Was in P R K. You're here. You're all right. I found them caught inside a rift in the data. <laughs> we were just fine. You will hear no words of thanks from me, child. Oh, uh, rude! I just save you. Sayonara to the one, two, three of you. I'm out. See you, chumps, on the other side. Well. I think I'll keep an eye on them on their way out. And by the way, don't think we're letting you off the hook. Pretty soon, the data will go back to its original form. The way it was before, all of those bugs showed up. It's time to say goodbye. What gives? Is it a glitch? There's some kind of lump in my throat. It's not a glitch. That's just what goodbye feels like. When we met in the datascape, it brought back a whole bunch of memories. The day I set out on my first big adventure, the day I made a new friend, a special friend, they all came rushing back to me. I knew that the journal, it's not just a diary, it's a collection. A collection of all we felt. The journal shows what's in our hearts. I promise, we'll tell the other Sora and Riku about what happened here. That way, this journey that we just had will be one everyone shares. The memories will always connect us. They'll be our own special bond. Remember, we're friends forever, Sora. Yeah, friends yeah. is power. Friends forever, your majesty. It's finally clear. What's that? Why that world they call the Date Escape seems so familiar. Oh? Huh? What do you mean? A book. Known as the Ancient Book of Prophecies. It's said to be capable of transcribing events that have yet to take place. No kidding. If we 
God our meat on something like that, we could finally take over permanent-like. Yes, considering legend has it the book can also conjure, making an entire world filled with beings and powers that have yet to exist. Really? A book that could just make up a world? I don't know. That sounds like nothing more than fluffy pink kids fairy tale stuff. It just sounds too Yeah, good to it sounds true. nonsense. Ah, but who's to say a fairy tale's not true? And I ask you, how does that differ from this world they call the Datascape? Ooh. Don't you think it might just be worth our while to search for a connection? Perhaps there's a link of some sort between that so-called journal of theirs and the Book of Prophecies. I'd say with that, we are on to something huge, eh, Maleficent? Ours is not a lost cause. First, we must take possession of this data of theirs. <laughs> Uh-oh. That doesn't sound... <laughs> yeah, friends forever. <laughs> Now, goodbye, Theosora. You're gonna get your memories reset. The story is ending. Thanks, guys. Oh, looks so cute. Hey, you know, we never did figure out that mysterious message. Yeah, me either. I don't understand the message. Whoa, what's going on? Big news. A new world has shown up inside the journal. What do you mean? I've found another door leading to extra data. Somebody must have added it once all the other data was restored. And if we explore that world? Hmm. Then we should get some answers about this message. Great! Let's ask Sora to... Hmm? Oh! When we fixed the data, everything in the journal went back to the way it started. Remember? Oh, then that means the data soul's not gonna remember. It never happened to him. Why, now he's just the same boy he was before he ever met any of us. I'm fine. My partition isn't affected. But Sora, we can't send him out there when he doesn't know what's going on. So now what? Hmm. Wait! Hey, Riku! Could you help me get back into the datascape one more time? Wake up! Hey! Huh? Sora, this was the day that your journey began. I know, because I was here too. It's time for the truth. Where am I? How'd I end up in this place? And who are you? He's Mickey I'm Mouse. Mickey. I've come here from another kind of world. Another kind of world? Their hurting will be mended 
when you return to end it. It's a message, and you're the only one with the power to solve the mystery behind it. So we really need your help. Power? What's that? Whoa! What's that? It's you a key blade. Remember, but it's clear you still hold the power inside you. Think you'd be willing to lend us a hand? You might help us figure out the truth. Gosh, I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't, but at the same time, what you're saying feels kind of familiar. So this truth you're talking about, do you think it involves me somehow? Actually, I'm not exactly positive. However, I get the sense it's something important you need to know. If it's information that I'm supposed to know then, well... <laughs> okay, Mickey. I'll help. Thank you. Let's go. Just follow my lead. Welcome to Castle Oblivion. So you think the truth's hiding somewhere in here? Hey, Mickey? Guess he went ahead. Who are you? Ah, Stranger Danger! I'm nobody. In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. That's the way of things. Here in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? That's right. Here you will meet people you know. People that you care about. <sighs> huh? Wait, he's gonna be a it's card a game? Kind of card. With a picture on it. Use that card and press on. You will find the truth that sleeps up ahead. Well, wait! <sighs> but how am I supposed to use this? He could have told me that much. And why does he seem so familiar? Good question. I wonder if that was Riku under that hood. Or it could be someone else. What just happened to me? You got teleported, that's what that happened. Card's special. It will cause you to see people. Well, illusions to be exact. They're from Jiminy's journal. It's all of the very same data that you worked so hard to fix. Jiminy? What did I fix? I don't get it. My mistake. Someone must have pressed the reset button on your memory. All you remember is leaving the island. Just the same, you'll remember the folks you meet here. At least you should. I don't understand. What is it that I'm supposed to do? Whatever you want. Huh? There's no script to follow. The journal's the closest thing you've got. But that doesn't mean you'll see the things it says. And who really cares? Everything that happens here, and everyone you meet, is just an illusion. So then, I can do whatever I want to do? Yes. Hey, okay. come back! He's gone. Huh? Huh? How did we get here? They disappear one by one. Well, you did it again, Sora. Wait a sec. Riku, why are you here? I've got something that you need to see. It'll help you. Yeah? What is it? A hidden truth that's nowhere to be found. 
even in the deepest corners of your memories. It's something I want you to see, and something I want you to feel. I know you wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important. I'll do it. Thank you, Sora. Now, close your eyes. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I thought my TV broke. Never mind. Yeah, this is a fastback from Kingdom Hearts 1. Wasn't that... Riku? And Kairi? That's right. I was on a journey to find you guys. Darkness had taken a hold of my heart. And Kairi had lost hers completely. But at the end of your journey... You would have saved us, Sora. Think about it. What did Kairi and I have in common? Uh, your soul friends? What did you feel? Something you have in common. It was hurt. We had both lost ourselves. And we were hurting in a way we'd never hurt before. There's no greater pain in the world. I ask you, Sora. What would you have done? I would have helped you, of course. Both of you. I'd have figured out how to undo the hurt. I thought you'd say that. And you're right. You would. Or should I say... You will. That's a relief. Hey! Then what was with the sneak preview? I just wanted you to see. You always make the right choices. On the road ahead, more than one truth will come to light. You'll forget things, lose things that you care about, and it won't always make sense. It'll be frustrating, and it'll make you angry. It may even hurt so badly you'll feel like you're about to lose yourself. But don't worry, Sora. That won't happen to you. You won't let it. You're like a sponge. No matter how much pain they throw at you, you'll suck it up and leave things a little bit better. Just follow your heart. And you can change the lives of not one, but many. You don't have to do anything special. Just do what you do. Be yourself. After all, that's what you're good at. Do what feels right to you. You got it. Take care, Sora. What? And he's gone. Weird. No one's here. Well, Sora, how was it? Did you have fun chatting and hanging with the ghosts? The ghosts of Christmas you past! You shouldn't them ghosts. Sure, something was a little off, but I'm certain those three are still my friends. Friends? You don't say. So then, what were their names again? Tell me. Oh, I don't even have to think. Huh? What? Why can't I... remember? I know them. Uh oh, you lose your memories. Like I said, everything in this castle is just an illusion. And once the illusions vanish, you'll forget all about your little reunion. I'll forget? Hey, no big deal. The fact that you can't remember them just means they weren't very important to you to begin with. Isn't that right? That's not true! Of course my friends are always important to me. Okay, maybe I forgot what just happened and who I met inside that room. Trust me, I know I'll remember everything again. Hmm, sure. More cards? All of these cards were created from the data in the journal. And all of them will show you more illusions. But from now on, the illusions won't be of your friends. You're fresh off the island, which makes everyone you meet total strangers. 
Here's a fun little thought. The folks you're about to see, you can fight them all you like. Huh? What do you care? They're only strangers. Actually, illusions of strangers. Just a collection of empty bits of data. They won't be able to make the distinction between what's real and what's not. They'll look at the white walls of this castle, and what they'll see are the worlds they call home. Anyway, the truth would be wasted on them, so why bother? They're only there until they're not. Do you see where I'm going with this? Nothing's real. You can break the little hearts they don't have and then forget about it. No hurt feelings, no baggage. It's that simple. You don't have a heart. It's 100% guilt-free. That's what you think. What? It's obvious you know nothing at all. Everything you say is a lie. I might have the strength to hurt someone, but what exactly would be the point? I know that it would tear me up inside. That ache would stay with me for a long time. You might not know it now, but I hope you'll see that nothing is guilt-free in this world. Yeah, there's hoard everywhere. The first question. Huh? What's with that guy? So, with these cards, I'm gonna run into people from the past. I have no idea who, but it'll be fun. Hey, look at Sid and the triplets. And I can't hear the conversation. Uh-oh, this is a peer. And so it's gonna forget who are those for. That guy wasn't kidding around. I really can't remember who it was I met just now. Or can I? Hmm. I give up. I don't remember. That's weird. I don't know what this is. Wait, is this what heartache feels like? Yep. Just thinking about them causes pain inside. Hold on. If I really forgot about all those friends completely, that would mean I shouldn't be missing anyone. That makes sense. So I haven't forgotten all of it then. There's got to be more I still don't know. I just need to find something to trigger my memory. Nice. Here goes. Hey look, it's a treasure cat! Alice and the Queen of Hearts, and the cards. And for some reason, the Queen is happy for some reason. She's not angry. Uh oh! And they disappeared. So, Sora? How was your time with... Who was it again? I can't remember anything at all. But you already knew that, didn't you? You seem pretty calm. Guess you decided they weren't worth stressing over. Out of sight, out of mind, right? That's wrong. What? It's like you said. Everyone I met, I can't remember. But still... I'm frustrated that I've forgotten them. I feel moments of loneliness. You said there would be no hurt feelings, but I am hurting. When the memories are gone, they just leave a hole. And having that longing inside me hurts. But it'll help me somewhere down the road. It's the key I'll need to unlock all my memories. Right on schedule. Okay, this is a Hercules level. Hey, look, it's Hercules, Cloud, Phil, 
and Hades. Huh, for some reason, they're not fighting each other, we're just chit-chatting. And they disappeared. And so it's gonna forget again. The sadness of knowing you forgot someone who matters to you. Something like that will gnaw at you forever. But you believe that somehow by carrying around that kind of hurt, you'll be able to retrieve the memories you lost. That's what you're thinking, right, Sora? Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's so what's funny? So funny? I can't believe you fell for it so easily. Huh? I told you when you arrived. Remember, in this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. Well, you've lost your memories, and the only thing you found in return is hurt. And by deciding that hurt was the key to remembering, you gave up all hope of ever being free from it. The hurt owns you now, Sora. Don't you see that? It's a wound that will never mend. That hole in your heart will grow bigger until darkness finally claims it. The darkness? Was this all just a big trick to pull me in? Afraid so. And all it took was a handful of illusions. Your heart was just way too easy to break, Sora. Not true! And he disappeared. And this is the Aladdin level? Hey look, it's Aladdin, Jasmine, and Genie. Huh, looks like Jafar and Yaga are missing here. And they disappeared. And so it's gonna forget about them. It's not too late to run. Huh? Why should you keep the herd inside? Wait, just tell the face to forget about the people you met and the voice. It sounds familiar. No one to miss, no cause for loneliness, no hurt to keep eating away at your heart. Sora, it's your call. Cling to the memories you've lost and the hurt they bring till you're dragged into the darkness. Otherwise, let it all go, and then you can be free and happy. The decision is completely yours. Wait! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, was that Roxas? Or it could be someone else. Should I use this? But if I were to do that, then I'd meet a friend, and forget right away. I don't know if I want that. It's just going to bring more hurt. And if he's right, the darkness will eventually take over me completely. But I don't see any other way out of here. Yeah, you have no choice. This card is my only option. That is, unless I let go of the hurt. Once I go out of this room, I'll forget all about what happened and everyone I just met. Instead of carrying that hurt around until it consumes me, maybe I should let it go. What's inside my heart? What am I supposed to do? I feel so lost. Hey, Sora! Can you hear me? Sora! Mickey? Where were you? I know that voice. Mickey, is that you? Where are you? Sorry, Sora. I'm still trying to find a way to get to you. Right now, the best I can do is to send my voice to where you are. It's okay. Hey, Mickey? Maybe you can help me with something. I keep forgetting people I meet in this place. And this guy says if I dwell on what I've lost, the herd is going to take over me. And I don't want that. I understand. Question is, are you okay with letting go of the folks that you've forgotten? <gasps> go for 
Luffy, Donor. Who are they? Well, even though you may not remember them, they definitely remember you. You'll always be a really close friend to them, no matter what happens. Yeah, we better than Fletchers, and I'll never forget you. And even if you don't ever really know who we are, I hope you'll remember that. You'll always be special to us. How can that be? Why don't you ask your heart? What are you feeling right now, Sora? I don't know what this is. Who are these two? I don't think that we've ever met. But I feel like... I know them. Memories can disappear, but feelings don't. Not even when your data was reset. Inside your heart, the adventures you shared with the friends you made in the datascape will always live on. And you know what? I'll bet that's also true for all the time you spent with the folks that those cards showed to you. So it's not what's missing that's causing the hurt. It's actually what's not missing. If that's true... Hey! Uh-oh! Looks like I've used up too much power. I'll be there soon, Sora. I promise. Just try and hold on a little bit longer for me. Okay? Mickey! Uh-oh. He disappeared. I'm all alone again. I hate feeling like this. Oh. I wonder... Does this count as hurt? If I let it... Will this pull me into the darkness? Hmm. I can do this. There's no going back. Just one more card. Morrison, Pete! Huh. Strange, they're not fighting against Sora, even though Sora has his battle position. And he's gonna forget who those two are. You've used up all the cards, I take it? I think it I is Roxas! I you enjoyed your little trip. But we both know that you've forgotten it. That you're feeling pretty empty. No, I'm not. I may not remember who I met, but I do remember that I met them. And knowing that I've forgotten them, I miss them. So you hurt. I warned you. Don't you remember what I said? That hurt will drag you down into the darkness. You have to get rid of all of it. No, I don't. I can keep the hurt because it reminds me of something important. It lets me know that what I've forgotten is crucial. That's enough. I won't run from it. It'll stay inside of my heart until the day I remember. The darkness will take you first. If I put the hurt aside, I'll lose my ties to all the people I care about. My mind's made up. I may end up falling into the darkness, but I'll carry this with me. I'll only get rid of it when I remember everything, and not a day sooner than that. I'll keep the hurt with me for the time being. It's all that I have. It's what holds the pieces in place. I accept that. You say you accept it? It's not a game! Uh-oh, boss fight! Time to get ready to fight, Sola! <gasps> it's way past time that you learn what real hurt feels like! It is, Roxas! The Keyblades! I can make it like the Keyblades! <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, Sora. Do it. Finish me off. Why won't you do it? I get it. You've seen through my disguise. I'm just like everyone else you've encountered in this place. Made of data. I'm not even worth the effort. Is that what it is? Guess there's no point in destroying something if it never existed. Is that right? Not at all. You say that you're an illusion, but you certainly pack a really big punch. You said that you'd show me hurt, and you weren't wrong. Actually, the hurt that I just felt was more than that. Sure, it might have hurt while we were fighting, but I sensed a different kind of hurt from you. It was kind of like an intense, sharp pain. But it felt sort of familiar, almost like it was my own. As if we'd been connected, like right then we shared the same hurt. If somehow it brings me closer to people in that kind of way, <laughs> then carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Sora. Congratulations, you understand hurt. Yay, he passed now, the test! Use this to find the truth. What do you mean? My role was to see if you were ready to take ownership of the hurt inside you. And now that role is done. Nothing left for me to do but go away. Are you gonna go back home? I don't know if I really have one, but there's a place I'd like to be. A place? Uh, where? Oh! What's this feeling? I've got memories that don't belong to me. Yeah, Wax's memories. A place to call home. And a sunset that's comforting. My first and my last summer vacation. You can rest easy. I've got you now. How'd you get here? I'm so glad I finally caught up to you. Sorry that it took me so long. I know you ended up having to do all the work on your own. I just couldn't get here sooner. It's okay. You're here now. Look, if I use this card, it'll lead us to the truth. Is that right? The message said their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. Maybe now we can finally... Solve it. Let's find out. Nominee. you oh. it's like when I met Nikki I don't know you but you're familiar nice to meet you Sora I am Nomine you may not know who it is I am 
But I know things about you. Uh, so... What exactly is going on here? Sora, maybe I can explain. There was a time when you lost every one of your memories. But everything turned out to be okay because Naminé helped you through it. Wow, you really did that for me, Naminé? You deserve a big thanks. No, I don't. I put your memories back together. That part is true. But it was also me. I was the one who took them apart in the first place. Well, you were forced to take it apart in the first Not place. Only that, the reason all of the bugs appeared in Jiminy's journal? That was me. What? Oh, tell us what you mean. It all began with these memories. That were sleeping way down deep. Deep in Sora's heart. These are my memories? Actually, no, they're not yours. They belong to people who are connected to you. Huh? Isn't it weird for somebody else's memories to be inside me? Mm, yes. Kind of. Usually it's impossible. When I first found them while repairing your memory, I thought I had made some sort of mistake. But then, after searching for answers, all the evidence I found proved they belong in your heart. Sora will have to awaken these memories. But this is where they will sleep until that time comes. They are important. And yet, dangerous too. Nomine, how are they dangerous? These memories, all of them are too painful. Handled the wrong way, they could damage Sora's heart, even break it. That's why I needed for Sora to find a way to face that kind of hurt. So I left the message for all of you. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. That was you. You're the one who left us that message. When I unraveled Sora and the others' memories, it also erased the words in Jiminy's journal. That book was filled with pages and pages of memories from your first adventure. It shows how deeply the journal and Sora are connected. When I took Sora's memories apart, they stayed in his heart. It may have looked like they were gone, but they were there the whole time. Even after the text disappeared from the journal, the memories remained. That's why you were able to render them as data. Yeah, but the data we got was a mess. And then all those bugs appeared. Jiminy never wrote about any bugs. That was... Me too. When I added these memories to the journal, I also added all this hurt. I thought that maybe if... You fought the bugs that sprang from these memories. You might learn to face the hurt in the memories themselves. So that's what it was. I didn't realize you had to go through so much trouble to get us to investigate this hurt, Naminé. I'm sorry. I wish I could have told you this in person. But the real me is gone. She doesn't exist now. Well, she's inside Kylie's uh, heart, so guys? I think she still exists. You kind of lost me a few minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have to understand it. You have already learned how to face the hurt, Sora. I did? You most certainly did. At times, the pain can be wiped away. But there's also a pain that always stays with you. There's only one way to deal with that. You face it head on and then you accept it. And if it happens that the hurt is too great for you to bear it alone, well then you turn to a friend close to your heart. Oh. It'll bring us closer together. The hurt will only make us stronger. <laughs> I'm willing to try. 
I'm ready to face all those memories that you found. It might have to be painful, but I can take it. Sora... Wait. You're not in this alone. Always remember... I'm here too. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Just touch this. Don't be afraid. You'll feel all of the memories that are locked inside flow right into your hearts. Uh-huh. Are they dead? Waxus, Axor. These are hidden truths. Sora has been keeping them locked away deep inside of him. Remember these memories you're feeling. They don't belong Wait, to him. Is that Sion? Nomine, that's you. Who's the other girl? Is she on? She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible. Didn't it? Yeah. Fox was forced to fight against Sion. He's the only one who can put an end to their hurt. Diz told me he hid something inside you during the year you were asleep. I asked him what, and all he would say was that he was clearing his conscience. Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw. And the ones you're about to see. Ah! <gasps> Tela! Finn! Aqua! Maybe you know how much they're hurting. These three were keys, too. They were connected to the Keyblade's truth. And then something terrible happened to them, too. And they're still connected, Sora. Somewhere way down deep inside of you. Funny. I feel as though I've met them. Yes. Two of them you have met. As for the third, Yeah. So I never met. Aqua and, and Finn when he was a kid. Connection. Yeah. Nomine, you said Sora has to call these memories to the surface. Is it time? I can't say for sure. But I do know. A day will come when they must rise from their sleep. And then, the only one who can save them will be Sora. The bond they all share. That's gonna be the key, right? Don't worry, Nomine. I'll make sure I pass this on to Sora. You know, the one in the outside world. Mm. Please do. Okay. <laughs> well. Just a second. Huh? Our promise. Your promise to the me I don't know. You kept it, right? I may be gone, but my promises to him are forever. And anyway, I owe this much. For all the... all those people that I hurt. So what happens to you? The one that's right here? I'm really just data made to pass along a message. I shouldn't exist right now in this journal at all. And now the record of me will disappear. But when you pass my message on to the other Sora, just remember to tell him the things that you've seen and that you felt. If you do that, then we'll be at rest, her and me too. 
along with everybody connected to Sora. Namine, you got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm? I almost forgot. I have a message for you, too. <laughs> Thank you. She disappeared! And so ended our journey to connect those memories with these. Sora, when Nominee's words are passed on to you, when the day comes that you learn of this great unknown and mysterious adventure, it's important that you understand Whatever you feel in your heart, that's what he felt in his. Okay, and I guess this must be the power Kimiki writes the letter and then he sends it to the I real to Sora. I right away about memories from the past that sleep within you. And... Yeah. It takes place about the near the end of Kingdom Hearts Part 2. So, what's Sora, going on? Riku, Kairi, the truth behind the Keyblade has found its way through so many people. And now I know that it rests in your hearts. Sora, you are who you are because of those people, but they're hurting. And you're the only one who can end their sadness. They need you. It's possible that all your journeys so far have been preparing you for this great new task that's waiting for you. I should have known there were no coincidences. Only links in a much larger chain of events. And now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. Pause. We coded. Huh? I wonder what's going on in this tower. Yun Sid, I think we're finally close to figuring out where Ben's heart is. Yeah, so? it's in Sora's heart. Sora right, and we've got to save all three of them. Hmm. The question is, what does Xehanort intend to do next? Xehanort? But his two halves are gone. There was Ansem, who commanded the Heartless, and Xemnas, who commanded the Nobodies. Didn't Sora defeat them both? He did. So what's the Correct. problem? Those two met their end. However, therein lies exactly our problem. Their destruction now guarantees the original Xehanort's reconstruction. Huh? Xehanort's heart, once seized by his heartless half, is now free. And his body, which had become his nobody, has been vanquished. Both halves will now be returned to the whole. In short, Oh, he's going to come back to life! Oh, no. And you think, you think that maybe he's going to try something? Yeah. A man like Xehanort will have left many roads open. Well, it doesn't matter what he cooks up. Me and Sora, we'll be ready. And Riku, too. Yes, they are indeed strong. But not true Keyblade masters like you. Tell me, would a single one of you suffice if what you faced was not a single one of him? What? What do you mean? Mickey, please summon Sora hither. Riku as well. Of course, but why? To show us the mark of mastery. That was more difficult than I thought. Whoa! 
but at least things are on track. What happened to them? Lord Zemnis is nowhere to be seen, so that means the party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man, does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business? The way he can see Wait, so since the organization the team members, they're back to humans no again. What it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led. Huh? Wherever it is, I am What's destined this kid? To Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, which poor soul will it be? Uh-oh. <laughs> we connected Kingdom Hearts. Well, I guess that's the end of Kingdom Hearts Recoded, and at least I found another anime movie that I could watch during my movie night, but it is kind of a little bit disappointed because you don't get to play the remake for the remaster version of Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Oh well. It looks like I'm done with the last Kingdom Hearts Recoded game. Yay! I did it! I completed all of the main gameplay from Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. But, I gotta tell you something before I end this episode. Our adventure is not over. There is another Kingdom Hearts game and it is called Kingdom Hearts 2.8. If you were a little curious, try to remember what you saw from the last two cutscenes where Kim Miki and Yen Sin were talking and then there was a and then there was some kid in a hood and in a womb with all the knockout people. It is a small little preview of what the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 games are gonna be about. But I guess I'm gonna go stop and take a break, so in the next episode, I'm gonna go play Kingdom Hearts 2.8. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.